Hey Thomas, you asked about ChatGPT the other day, and I thought I would answer by making a video about ChatGPT. Here you go. What is a drone? A drone, also known as an unmanned aerial vehicle, is a type of aircraft that is controlled remotely or by an onboard computer rather than a human pilot. Drones come in a wide range of sizes and shapes and can be used for a variety of purposes, such as aerial photography, reconnaissance, delivery, and scientific research. Some drones are also equipped with weapons and can be used for military operations. Do you like FPV drones? As an AI, I don't have the ability to like or dislike things. However, I can tell you that FPV drones have become increasingly popular in recent years. FPV drones are equipped with cameras that transmit live video feed to the operator's doddles, or a screen, allowing them to see what the drone sees in real time. This technology makes it possible to fly the drone as if you were on board, providing an immersive flying experience. It is widely used for racing and freestyle flying, videography, and search and rescue mission. Do you think we should make more drones? As an AI, I don't have opinions or preferences on policy or social issues. However, I can tell you that drones have been used for a variety of purposes, such as aerial photography, reconnaissance, delivery, and scientific research, as well as in military operations. They have proven to be a useful technology in many fields. However, it's also important to consider the safety and privacy concerns that come with increased use of drones. It's important for regulations to be put in place to ensure the safe and responsible operation of drones and to protect the privacy of individuals. In addition, the environmental impact of drones should be evaluated as well. It may not be a major concern, but it is still important to consider. In summary, it depends on how these drones are going to be used, as well as what regulations are in place to govern their operation and use. My friend and I have been making drone videos for a while. It's very fun. I worry that there could be drone wars in the future. What can you tell me about the potential for drone wars? The use of drones in military operations has been increasing in recent years, and there is concern that the development and proliferation of drones could lead to an escalation of conflicts and the possibility of drone wars. Drones have several advantages over manned aircraft in military operations. They can stay aloft for longer periods of time, they can fly at lower altitudes and speeds, and they can be operated remotely, reducing the risk to human pilots. They also allow for the use of smaller, more precise weapons. However, there are also concerns about the potential for abuse and misuse of drones in military operations. Some experts have raised concerns about the potential for accidental or intentional strikes on civilian targets, as well as the risk of creating a slippery slope towards more autonomous weapons systems that could make it easier for countries to go to war. It's also important to note that many countries are developing their own drone technology, as it could give them an advantage in military operations. If this trend continues, it could lead to a potential arms race. It would be important for international agreements and regulations to be put in place to govern the use of drones in military operations, and to ensure they are used in compliance with international humanitarian law. Overall, the potential for drone wars is a complex issue that raises a number of ethical, legal, and strategic concerns that require careful consideration. How are we supposed to consider these if the opposition does not? If other countries or actors are not following the same rules or regulations for the use of drones in military operations, it can present a significant challenge. It's important to remember that the use of drones in military operations raises a number of ethical, legal, and strategic concerns that need to be considered, regardless of whether all parties are following the same rules. One possible strategy could be to advocate for and participate in international efforts to establish and enforce regulations governing the use of drones in military operations. For example, the United Nations has established a group of governmental experts to consider issues related to lethal autonomous weapons systems, including drones, and to explore possible measures to ensure their responsible use. Another possibility is to work on bilateral or regional agreements on drone usage. This can be more effective with countries that share similar views and security concerns. 
Furthermore, a nation or a coalition of nations can also take actions to counter illegal or aggressive actions taken by countries that does not consider these rules. Such actions could include diplomatic measures, economic sanctions, or military intervention. It's important to understand that this is a complex and challenging issue, and there may not be a single or easy solution. It will likely require a multifaceted approach that involves a combination of diplomatic, legal, and military measures, as well as international cooperation and dialogue. What do you know about the HALO precursors? I'm sorry, but I'm not aware of any specific information about something called HALO precursors. The name HALO generally refers to a science fiction first-person shooter video game series created by the Microsoft-owned development studio 343 Industries and developed by Bungie. It is set in the 26th century and concerns an interstellar war between humanity and an alliance of aliens known as the Covenant. In this context, it may be possible that the precursors you're mentioning are a fictional element within the game's lore or a reference to a specific element of the game's storyline or setting. However, as my knowledge cut off is 2021 and information about the latest games or updates may not be available to me. If you have more specific details or context, I would be happy to help you with your question. These are the old ones available on Wikipedia, do you remember? I apologize for the confusion. The Halo series of games does indeed include a species known as the Forerunner, or Precursors. They were an advanced civilization that existed before humans and the Covenant species in the Halo universe. They were responsible for creating many of the technological wonders and powerful weapons found in the Halo universe, including the eponymous Halo Array and the related technology, such as the Portal. The Forerunners were responsible for seeding life and civilization throughout the galaxy, and also built many of the ancient ruins and artifacts that are found throughout the game. They are often depicted as a mysterious and powerful civilization, with their technology, society, and ultimate fate being a subject of intrigue throughout the series. It is important to note that the Halo series is a work of fiction, therefore the precursors are a creation of the writer to be part of the story, and do not exist in reality. What else do you know about the Forerunners? The Forerunners, also known as the Precursors, are a fictional alien species in the Halo universe. They are depicted as a highly advanced and technologically sophisticated civilization that existed long before humanity or the Covenant. They were responsible for creating many of the technological wonders and powerful weapons found in the Halo universe, including the eponymous Halo Array and the related technology, such as the Portal. In the Halo lore, the Forerunners were the dominant civilization in the galaxy for over 100,000 years, and were responsible for seeding life and civilization throughout the galaxy. They built many of the ancient ruins and artifacts that are found throughout the game series, such as the mysterious and powerful Halo Array and the related technology. They were a powerful and technologically advanced civilization, capable of engineering stars and terraforming entire worlds. However, the Forerunners also faced a great threat from the Parasitic Flood, a deadly, ancient, and highly adaptable form of life. In order to combat the Flood, the Forerunners created the Halos as a weapon of last resort, which would destroy all sentient life in the galaxy, thus stopping the Flood. However, the Forerunners ultimately decided against activating the Halos. Instead, they chose to preserve samples of all forms of life in the galaxy and left to find a solution, or a way to combat the Flood. Forerunners have been depicted as having a high moral and ethical standard, which includes a strong sense of duty to protect and preserve life throughout the galaxy. The Forerunner story arc is an important element of the Halo series, and their legacy and technology play a significant role in the story and the gameplay. Can you tell me about the Flood Wars? The Flood Wars are a major conflict in the Halo universe that takes place between the Forerunners, and the Flood, a parasitic alien species that seeks to infect and assimilate all forms of sentient life. The Flood is portrayed as an ancient and highly adaptable form of life that seeks to spread and consume all sentient life in the galaxy. The Flood Wars were a desperate and brutal struggle that lasted for millennia and ultimately led to the near extinction of the Forerunner civilization. 
During the Flood Wars, the Forerunners employed a variety of tactics and weapons to combat the Flood, including the use of their advanced technology and military forces. However, despite their best efforts, the Flood was able to infect and assimilate much of the Forerunner civilization. In order to stop the Flood and save the galaxy from total destruction, the Forerunners decided to activate the Halo Array, a weapon of last resort which would destroy all sentient life in the galaxy, effectively killing the Flood and themselves. However, this weapon had a high moral cost, which led the Forerunners to preserve samples of all forms of life in the galaxy, and left to find a solution or a way to combat the Flood. The Flood Wars play a central role in the Halo storyline and the Flood is depicted as an ever-present threat to the safety and survival of all sentient life in the galaxy. The Forerunner's ultimate sacrifice and the Halo Array's capabilities are a subject of ongoing debate and moral quandary in the series. It is also notable that their remnants would appear in many of the Halo games, providing a challenging and terrifying enemy for players to face. We were making that video yesterday while I was at the hotel, and then we had our excellent conversation, and I hope that we have more of those conversations, but that's what I got, so thanks. Peace.